All right, Disney just had a live action remake of The Little Mermaid come out. And so far, it's actually looking like there's a split between the critic score and the audience scores. I mean, that's I mean, it's still fresh on the critic score, so that's not so bad. But if you actually click on these, uh, let me see the all audiences one. OK, that's significantly works. Top critics. OK, that's not good as well. But keep in mind that these are the verified ones. So the verified reviews are the ones for people who actually paid to go see the movie. So. I mean, it makes sense on the opening weekend. If you're going to go pay to see the movie, then you probably wanted to see it and you might have been inclined to actually enjoy it. But let me just click on some of these reviews and see what they say. This film was everything I was expecting. The cast did a wonderful job performing the characters, especially uh, Halle Bailey as Ariel. The scene. All right. Yeah. Yeah. They, they liked it. Verified. Uh, this is another verified one. It didn't like it. Uh, it felt like a bunch of people in one movie trying to remake The Little Mermaid. My daughter's favorite princess and one of my favorite movies just could not connect to this movie. All right. Yeah, that's a verified one. So someone who paid to see it uh, sounds like someone. Uh, yeah, they liked it as a kid. I uh, wanted to take their child to see this on the big screen and they didn't care for it. I mean, I actually think I mean, it's low, but I think that's fair. I, I mean, I was a big fan of The Lion King. I remember seeing that as a kid and I love that one. That's my favorite Disney animated movie. And then when the remake came out, I just didn't care for it. I mean, it's, there's, there's a connection to them. I mean, it's, it's almost like, it's not what I remember, but it's, it doesn't have the same feeling as the one I had as a kid. But I mean, that could also be chalked up to, I'm an adult now, so I'm not going to have that same excitement as a kid seeing it for the first time. But uh, as an adult watching it, I mean, I can understand it, but kids, uh, I'm actually kind of interested in what kids think about this because it's, honestly made for them but at the same time you can't just say like it's a kids movie so adults don't have a say in it because you can actually have kids movies that are good for adults that everyone likes i mean there's plenty of those out there and even disney has made a lot of them themselves all right this is an interesting one it's a three star so yeah three out of five it was half and half for me ariel has a great singing voice and eric was good but there were some people acting that was a bit disappointing and the new songs were okay, but they just didn't fit with the vibe that the original soundtrack and they took out the best scenes that the original animation film was disappointed as well. Okay. I mean, again, I think that's kind of a fair one, but keep in mind, these are just most of them. Like I said, uh, the verified ones, they were overwhelmingly positive. Uh, let me just see the all audience scores. Uh, all right. Can't read that. Sorry. <laughs> All right, two stars. Uh, it was overrated for what it was. The whole movie dragged a little. They cut out a lot of sisters. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, two stars. The thing about this, when you're looking at the overall all audiences scores, the, the ones that aren't verified, keep in mind, you're going to get a surplus of people who, uh, it, especially movies that are like have a lot of hype about them like this, they're going to just come in here and either give it like one stars or five stars. I mean, sometimes the one stars and lower are valid. Other times uh, they're not. But I mean, you just kind of have to try to be a little bit cautious on how you think. Uh, like, usually I like, though, the ones that are like the two, three, four stars, because it's people who aren't necessarily on the extreme of one side or the other. It's I just find that that's a little bit more fair. All right. Jumping over to Metacritic. Yeah, this it's actually overwhelmingly negative on the user score. And again, this this doesn't have verified though, so you are gonna just get everyone. What so <laughs> that, that is that is an excessive two hundred <laughs> negative though. So, I mean, is there bombs on there? Yeah, I'm I'm assuming there are people review bombing this. To be fair, but also there's probably people who are giving it like positive scores too, like 10 out of 10. Uh, it's the best live action movie on Disney. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, if you, if you think that, I mean, you're entitled to your opinion, but let me just see some of these negative ones. Uh, if you're looking at this review before you delete it, I want to say that I'm not a bot. Well, they're not a bot, so you better not delete this score. <laughs> Okay, never actually seems like anyone is underwater. CGI is horrific. The new songs aren't good. Too many changes from the original. Too long. Yet another live action that fails to live up to the animation. Or an animated. Yeah. All right. I mean, 
the don't watch it the cheek at the end okay I, i'm my spanish is rusty i'm sorry everything about this movie from the cinematography to the acting is just downright awful disney slapped this thing together and advertised it in a way that they knew would create controversy over the race of the main character <laughs> but you know what the, not everything with this one but i do think that there is some merit to that where disney does have a tendency to just slap together movies and then put them out there. I mean, they've always done this. I mean, uh, as a kid in the 90s, I can remember them always having like those straight to video uh, sequels to Disney movies or they just have like Disney Channel original movies and things like that. I mean, they they need to constantly be churning out content. They just can't just rely on their back catalog. So they always have to make something and in all honesty, coming up with new ideas is hard. It's actually a lot easier just to remake something that you already had. So, hey, this is something that we've done before animation. How are we going to show it differently? We can't make another straight to video sequel because we've done that. Well, let's just remake it. I mean, and then the whole controversy aspect of it. Uh, I mean, that might be a that might be a thing. They're just trying to find some way of actually saying, uh, well, put up a shield so if people complain about it we can just point to this like saying like oh well you just don't like it because you're racist or sexist or whatever hey. i mean maybe there are people who don't like it for those reasons but i mean i think a lot of the criticism people have is generally just from uh having criticism with remakes in general is in like it's not good i didn't it, i didn't like it the songs weren't as great uh it didn't look as good the animation wasn't as uh, pleasing so there's always that and if you and just for out of curiosity i looked at my local theater here so this is uh the screens for today and as you can see the the gray ones are the ones that people have already reserved seats for so everything else is but i mean this is 2 15 p.m let me just see uh three okay uh five five thirty showing there's no one there for that. Okay, let me just check out the six o'clock time. Seven fifteen, nine thirty. Yeah, so no one in the. Keep in mind the seven fifteen, nine thirty. That's probably a. I mean, it's for families and kids, so they might not want to take them out that late. But uh, six o'clock. I mean, that seems a little empty for a six o'clock showing. Uh, same with five thirty. 345 uh yeah so maybe they're just taking their kids out early uh and seeing it and then it's a uh, that's about it. but even then like there's no real sold out showings it's all just kind of sparse so even though the audiences who actually saw this tend to give this a good score uh, it doesn't seem like there's actually a lot of people who are actually going out to see it, but the ones who do see it say, claim to like it. I'm curious in the coming weeks what this score is going to show as more people who aren't like so hyped to go see it that they're going to run out the opening weekend to see it, but just kind of how it is uh, as time goes on. Thank you for checking out my video. If you like what you see and you want to hear more, please subscribe and like the video. I'll see you later.